Greetings from ESU number three in Omaha, Nebraska. This short training video will show you how to use Comet Touch Light on your iPad. For this project, you'll need an image. You can see that I've navigated to Google Images in Safari and typed in an animal camouflage, and a few pictures show up. I'll press and hold on one of them I'd like to use and select Save Image. I then like to check and make sure that that's been placed in my photos. So you can see I've opened up my photos and looked in my camera roll and I see the picture there. Once you have the picture saved, you're ready to open Comic Touch Lite. Find the app on your iPad and open it. The first screen will ask you to find your picture in the photo library or to take a picture with your camera. Because we're using the light version of Comic Touch, you'll get a message prompting you to download the full version from the App Store. Disregard this and simply hit OK. Tap the picture that you saved to the camera roll and it will be brought into Comic Touch Lite for you to begin adding additional items. If you don't see the menu bars at the top and the bottom, just simply press and hold in the middle and the menu bars will appear. In the lower right corner, tap the rectangle marked Caption and then drag that caption where you'd like for it to appear. By double tapping that rectangle, you can type in the words that you'd like to use for your title. I'm typing camouflage. After you've typed your title in, you can tap the details button up in the top left corner to change the text, font, and size. Tap the back button in the top left corner to return to your picture and add additional items. To add a word bubble, which are located across the bottom, simply tap on one and then drag it where you'd like for it to appear. As you did before, double tap that word bubble to begin typing in what you'd like to appear. I'm going to type the phrase, you'll have a hard time seeing me, to give them a clue to the definition of camouflage. You can again tap details to change the text, size, and color scheme, and then back to return to your picture. If you want to move either your title or your word bubble around, you can do that simply by dragging. And then let's add one more caption box to give the definition. Tap the caption rectangle in the lower right corner and then drag the box where you'd like for it to appear. To change the wording, double tap the rectangle and type what you'd like to appear for the definition. I use the definition blending into the surroundings. You can tap Done to return to your picture or Details to change the text, size, or color scheme. Tapping the back arrow in the top left corner will return you to your picture where you can drag around the definition, the caption, or the word bubble. Once you have completed the image that you create in Comic Touch Lite, you will want to share it by tapping the envelope icon in the top menu bar. This will take you to a window where you can save the comic to photos or you could email the comic. In this case, we'll save the comic to photos and it will put it in the photo gallery. I always like to check and make sure that it's arrived there. The other option was to email the image. Simply tap on email comic and then type the address of the person that you would like to send it to. This concludes the training video for Comic Touch Lite. We hope you enjoyed this lesson.